The partnership we are witnessing today sets the stage for establishing much needed links between life sciences research, healthcare systems, and the biotech industry, which will ultimately drive healthcare improvement and economic development. The importance of health cannot be overemphasized, especially during the current pandemic. In a university of science and technology like KAUST, it's a special social responsibility, as well as an obligation to seize the opportunity to step up on behalf of the nation. One of the cornerstones of Vision 2030 is to continue building the 21st century cutting edge healthcare system within the kingdom and to be a global leader in this sector. The Smart Health Initiative will work closely with top Saudi health and education institutions to develop and implement cutting-edge smart health technologies and methods within the kingdom's healthcare delivery system. The ultimate goal of the Smart Health Initiative is to pave the way towards establishing precision and personalized medicine as the standard of care within the kingdom, the region and the world. The future of health is in precision medicine. In other words, understanding much better the mechanisms of diseases as they are also expressed in individuals based on the interactions between their genes and the environment, their lifestyle. And for this, a dialogue and a collaboration between basic scientists and clinicians is absolutely fundamental. So the Smart Health Initiative is built on four pillars. The first one is research, bringing basic scientists with clinicians to develop research projects. Second, training and education. Training the new generation of physicians who will be able to dialogue with basic scientists to develop projects for treatment and diagnostics. The third pillar is innovation and economic development. The developments done by researchers in the Smart Health Initiative and clinicians will lead to new discoveries for drugs and diagnostic tools that can be patented, that can produce value. And fourth, an academic pillar, which is to attract to cause the best possible talents. The ambition is that this initiative will build on previous successes to establish a new synergy between various stakeholders in the kingdom to bring the healthcare system from a traditional way of diagnosing and treating diseases to precision and personalized medicine as a standard of care. This collaboration between KAUST and King Faisal Specialist Hospital represent one of the exciting aspects the way KAUST Smart Health Initiative will be operating. There are new types of data such as uh, gene expression data or microbiome data that allows us to view human health and disease in ways that previously was unimaginable. And so the, the characteristic of these data are they're very high dimensional, not easily interpreted by human beings. And so the idea would be that you can use AI to analyze the entire electronic clinical record and then summarize that in a way that is actionable for a medical profession. With Smart Health, we can bring technology and science from cows into the clinical environment. AI and machine learning, computational tools, combined with this data to extract insights about human health and disease, working with doctors to enhance the experience of being a clinician and also to improve the patient-clinician experience. I do believe that only great things will come out of a good collaboration between our two institutions. I consider myself very lucky to have collaborated with colleagues at KAUST, even prior to the Smart Health Initiative. And I know that they very much appreciate the opportunity to see that their basic science expertise can have an impact on real patients. During the pandemic, I've used my expertise in DNA replication and repair and worked toward establishing diagnostic kits for COVID-19. The first success story for us was in producing totally integrated a homemade one-step RT-PCR kit that is at par with any commercial kit. In fact, that kit performed very well in several testing facilities and has been recently certified by Saudi FDA for use within the kingdom. The mutation in DNA replication and repair can influence many processes inside the cell, and its influence of processes inside the cell can vary over time 
and from one patient to another. The Smart Health Initiative is precisely designed to decode this complexity by understanding the disease in a holistic way at the system level. It is also the way that we'll be able to treat complex diseases such as cancer and in a personalized manner. The Smart Health Initiative has also started a clinician scientist program whereby clinicians can come and spend time at COWS to familiarize themselves with basic biomedical research and then uh, in a way play a key role as a link between the two worlds which we really need to bring together. I'm a pediatric neurologist but whatever applies to children is a continuum and to adulthood. So with this smart health we have technologies and the technologies help us see zoom inside the body and then we identify where the defect is and then we can fix it. So a medicine A can be useful for a child with certain disease but another child with the exact same disease who has a different metabolic profile this medicine might not help them and with using the smart technology we can identify the metabolic profile of every individual and decide what works for this child is different than what works for this, and so on. Within the Smart Health Initiative, my laboratory has started new collaborations with hospitals, one in Riyadh, King Faisal Specialist Hospital Research Center, and one in Jeddah, King Abdulaziz University Hospital. The aim is to recruit Saudi patients to derive in vitro model of the diseases that we are studying, in particular insulin resistance and later type 2 diabetes mellitus from Saudi patients. And the work is just at the beginning. We are still reprogramming many more samples from patients and this will lead us to the derivation of the first and largest Saudi IPS cohort so far described. These IPSCs will be available for future collaborations with the institution within the country and also internationally. So ideally for each individual, at some point we should be able to bring all this information together and see how it plays out in a disease. And this will also inform the scientists and the clinicians on the mechanism that are producing this phenotype, this disease, and then we can work backwards and, and try to intervene on the mechanisms and eventually cure the diseases. I'm very happy about this relationship. The start was wonderful and it came in a very difficult time during COVID, but uh, always great ideas come in very difficult times and we are looking forward to work with our colleagues at KAUST uh, for a long term because it's only going to uh, produce a fantastic research that will be internationally uh, recognized. One of the goals of the Smart Health Initiative, but also for KAUST, by the way, is that the discoveries and innovations that are made through research projects, and in particular those with clinicians, potentially lead to the development of new therapies or, or new diagnostic tools. And this should be translated into innovation, into startup companies, in spin-off, or in joint ventures with licensing to large companies. So there is a, an aspect of the Smart Health Initiative in addition to research, obviously clinical research, and training and education, there is also innovation and economic development components. So all this actually reflects the Vision 2030 to move the kingdom into these uh, new directions that are improving health and innovation and economic development.